There are many times when you may notice that the engine oil is running low without finding any obvious leak. At that time, the question you think about is, why is the oil running low without the car leaking? You should know that there are two main possibilities. Either there is a hidden leak that is not visible to you, or the oil is burning inside the engine. Sometimes you find the oil light suddenly lit up on the dashboard, which means there is a lack of oil, but there is still no sign on the ground or around the engine indicating a clear leak. The truth is that there are many places inside the car where oil can leak without you noticing, such as the engine oil seal or the timing cover. This requires an inspection by a good mechanic to accurately determine the problem. If you cannot treat the matter quickly, the lack of oil can cause very serious problems and sometimes lead to permanent damage to the engine. Therefore, always remember that the engine is the heart of the car and it must have a sufficient amount of oil to operate efficiently. To avoid any problems, check the oil level at least every two weeks and use check the dipstick and see if the oil level is between the two marks on the dipstick minimum and maximum or if it needs to be topped up. If you find the oil below the lower mark, you need to top it up immediately. It's perfectly normal for an engine to lose a little oil over time, and this is nothing to worry about. However, when you notice the oil decreasing quickly without any obvious leak, that's when you start to worry. In today's episode, we'll talk about the reasons why your engine oil level could be decreasing without any obvious leakage, how to differentiate between these causes and what the correct course of action should be in each case to protect your engine from any possible damage. Let's get started. Why does engine oil decrease without leaking? There are several reasons why the oil can decrease without finding a single drop under the car. These are the most important reasons that could be behind this problem. First, damaged oil evaporator valve. If the evaporator valve is completely clogged, engine pressure will begin to rise. This can cause engine oil to leak from areas such as the front or rear engine oil seal, or even the valve cover gasket. Also, if this valve is clogged, polluting gases containing fuel residue will remain inside the engine, causing the oil to burn and deteriorate without you noticing. The good news is that replacing the evaporator valve is easy and quick, and it doesn't cost a lot. Second, damaged piston rings. If the engine is consuming oil, you'll likely see gray-blue smoke coming out of the muffler. This is a sign that the oil is burning inside the cylinders. The reason for this is that the piston rings, which prevent oil from leaking from the oil chambers to the combustion chambers, have become damaged or weak. When the piston rings become weak, the oil will begin to enter the air-fuel mixture and burn. This not only reduces the oil, but can also damage the entire engine over time. Unfortunately, solving this problem isn't simple, as you'll need to completely overhaul the engine and install new piston rings. This is a rather large and costly process. Third, using the wrong type of engine oil. If you continue to use the wrong type of oil for a long time, this will affect the engine components and cause them to wear out more quickly. This can shorten the engine's lifespan over time. For example, if your car is older or has traveled a lot of miles, and you use fully synthetic oil, you may notice a leak. This is because synthetic oil moves more easily than conventional oil, entering tight spaces where it's not supposed to. Also, if you choose an oil with an inappropriate viscosity, i.e., too thin, in hot weather or under pressure, this oil may burn or fail to adequately lubricate engine parts. This will, of course, affect engine efficiency. Therefore, always refer to the recommendations in your owner's manual or a trusted mechanic and use the appropriate oil for your vehicle. Fourth, delaying oil changes. Most new cars can travel between 5,000 and 15,000 kilometers before needing an oil change. 
However, this isn't a fixed number because driving habits vary greatly. If you're constantly driving in the city or on short trips, you'll need to change your oil and filter more often than someone who drives long highways. Also, if you're towing a trailer, driving in extreme heat, climbing mountains, or even sitting in the car while it's parked for extended periods, this consumes the oil faster and makes it need to be changed earlier. Therefore, especially in the Gulf countries and the Middle East in general, it's best to change the oil and filter every 5,000 kilometers and a maximum of 10,000 kilometers. Don't forget that if you continue to delay changing your oil, its viscosity may decrease and it may start to burn inside the engine, which will damage the engine and cost you a lot. Fifth, damaged valve seals. Valve seals play a very important role because they control the amount of oil reaching the air and fire valves and also help lubricate them properly. When you notice an abnormal decrease in oil, it may be because these seals have become damaged. What happens is simply that a small amount of oil accumulates on top of the cylinder head. When the car is left idle for a long time without starting, these seals cool and shrink slightly. This can open a small gap through which oil can leak into the combustion chamber, causing the oil to burn unnoticed and the oil to decrease without any visible leakage. At the end of our episode, we have explained the most important reasons that may cause the engine oil to decrease without finding a clear leak. And we talked about the problems behind this, such as the evaporator valve, damaged pistons, or even using the wrong oil. Therefore, it is very important to constantly monitor the oil level and understand well how to maintain it. Because the lack of oil does not only affect performance, but may also cause major damage to the engine if the matter is not treated early. Thank you for following and wait for us in a new episode.